Assalamualaikum students. Welcome to New Age Kids School's reading session. Today we'll read a story together. But first, let's find our book online. Let me share my screen with you all. Can you see my screen? Okay, firstly, you have to go in Google. Or if you're using iPhone or Mac, you have to go to Safari. Here, you have to write New Age Kids School. After writing this, you will find this page. You have to click over here. And then you will find this website. Then you have to go to academics. Then you will go to online books. Then you have to give view all. Here are all our books. You can see here I'm giving view all. After that, all our books are here. Here is Arabic, here is Bangla, and here is English. As you can see, it's our part one book. And this is the story we'll be reading today. After reading the story together, I will ask you some questions. You have to answer the questions in the comment section below. And you have to practice the story reading at your home by listening to my reading video again and again. If you have any difficulty pronouncing a word, you can always see my videos. Now let's move on to our story. To read the story, you have to click over here. After clicking over here, you will get to the story. So let's read the story together. Ginger the Giraffe. Let's read the story together. Once upon a time, there was a giraffe named Ginger. Ginger lived in Kenya, a country in Africa. Like all giraffes, Ginger had a long neck and long legs because she was so tall, she was able to eat food from the very tops of the trees in the SAV sap A N N A H savanna. The savanna in Africa is an area with lots of grass and some trees. Sometimes a savanna is called G R A S grass. L A N D S lands, grasslands. The other animals like zebras and A N T and E L O P S, elops. antelopes, could not reach where ginger could reach. But ginger always found food. She loved the leaves and the new birds of the trees. In this para, we learned about giraffe, whose name was Ginger, and he lived in Kenya. Kenya is a country in Africa. And like all the giraffes, Ginger also had long necks and long legs. Since he was so tall, he always had food available. Here we learned a word which is savanna. What is savanna? Savanna is an area where there are lots of trees and grasses. And we learned ginger loves trees and grasses. The other animals like zebras and antelopes could not reach where ginger could reach because he had long necks, right? Long necks and long legs. Now let's go to page number two. One 
day, Ginger was busy eating her favorite leaves along with some other giraffes. It was a bright sunny day and there was not a cloud in the sky. It had not rained for a long time, so the grass was very dry. She heard a noise down at the bottom of her extra long legs. It was her friend, Mookie the monkey. It was her friend, Mickey the monkey. Mickey was trying to say something, but Ginger couldn't understand what he was saying. He looked very tired. What's wrong? asked Ginger. Ginger was a very kind giraffe and wanted to help everyone. Just then, Mickey fell over. In this para, we learned about Ginger's friend, Mickey. And it was a sunny day and there was no cloud because it had not rained for a long time. While Ginger was eating grass, she heard a noise and then she saw her friend Mickey the monkey. Mickey was trying to say something to Ginger, but Ginger could not understand what Mickey was saying. Because he looked very tired, Ginger asked her friend, What's wrong with you, my dear friend? Mickey. Just then, Mickey fell over. He fell down. Now let's go to page number three. Ginger was also a smart giraffe. She knew what was wrong. Mickey couldn't find anything to eat and he was very hungry. Ginger nibbled some fresh tender leaves and buds from the top of the tree where she was eating. She dropped some of the leaves and buds to the ground near where Mickey was. Then she nudged him a little with the hoof at the bottom of one of her very long legs. Wake up, Mickey, said Ginger. I found something for you to eat. Slowly, Mickey sat up and ate a little. In this para, we learned that Ginger knew something was wrong with her friend, Mickey. Mickey wasn't able to eat anything and he was very hungry. At that time, Ginger had a great idea. She nibbled on some fresh leaves. Means she took bites of the very, very fresh and soft, soft leaves and laid them around Mickey. Where Mickey was standing, she put it there. Then she, using her long legs, tried to wake Mickey up and said, Wake up, Mickey. I've found something for you to eat. Then Mickey, after listening to Ginger, slowly tried to wake up and eat a little. Now let's go on to page number four. This is Mickey, can you see? This is Mickey, Ginger's friend. Okay, page number four. After a while, when Mickey was feeling better, Ginger asked him, what happened, Mickey? 
Why are you so hungry? Why can't you find anything to eat? Mickey said, it hasn't rained for so long. And now there's no more food. That's not good, said Ginger. What's happening with the other animals? No one knows what to do, answered Mickey. All the zebras and the antelopes and the E-L-E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T-S pants, elephants are getting worried about the dry grass. Some of them are thinking about leaving the savanna and trying to reach the jungle. That's a long trip, said Ginger. Are you going to go with them? So in this para, we learned that after eating something, Mickey was feeling better. And then Ginger asked him what happened to Mickey. Why was he so hungry? Why hasn't he eaten anything? Then Mickey said that it wasn't raining for so long and there was no more food. Then Ginger became worried and said that's not good. And what is happening with the other animals? Then Mickey said, no one knows what to do. The zebras, antelopes, and the elephants all are worried about the dry grass because there is no rain. And some of them were thinking of going to the jungle and leaving the savanna behind. Then Ginger asked Mickey, are you going with them? That's what we learned from this para. Let's move on to page number five. I don't know, answered Mickey. What do you think we should do? Ginger thought for a while. And then suddenly she had a good idea. We should go talk to Leo the lion. He is S-M-A-R-T, smart, E-S-T-S, smartest animal in the savanna. Mickey was too tired to walk. So Ginger invited him to ride on her back. Hold on tight to my neck, said Ginger. There's a lot to hold on to, joked Mickey. Ginger laughed. You're right. I've got the longest neck in Africa. So they started their journey across to the other side of the savanna to look for Leo. In this para, we learned that Ginger asked Mickey, is he going? And he answered, no, I don't know. What do you think we should do? Ginger thought for a while and suddenly answered Mickey that let's talk to Leo the lion. He is the smartest animal in the savanna. But Mickey was very tired because he wasn't eating for so long. Then Ginger said, okay, you can ride on my back. And then Mickey rode on her back. And so they started their journey to look for Leo the lion. Here, can you see? Mickey was on top of Ginger the giraffe. Now let's go to page number six. Ginger and Mickey were in luck. Leo was sitting up on a rock and he was really easy to see as they walked through the grass. Hi, Leo! They both shouted. Leo had been NAP, P-I-N-G, paying napping 
and was a little grumpy when they woke him up. But he was polite and said, Hello, Ginger and Mickey. Why did you walk the whole way across the savannah just to wake me up? But he was joking. He had a smile on his face. Mickey says that there is no food left on the savannah because it's been so dry, said Ginger. Do you have any ideas? In this para, we learned that when Mickey and Ginger went to look for Leo the lion, they saw him sitting up on a rock and they could see him easily. So they both shouted, hi Leo. But Leo was sleeping. So he woke up and said, oh, hello Ginger and Mickey. Did you walk the whole way across the savannah? Just wake me up. He was really joking. He was not serious, you know. He was smiling. Ginger said in very worried voice that there is no food, Mickey is saying. Do you have any idea about it? Now let's move on to page number seven. Leo thought for a while. He said, there's nothing we can do about the rain. It will come soon, but we can't be sure when it will arrive. When the rain comes, all the plants will grow again and there will be lots of food for everybody. He thought a little longer. The only thing I can think of is for everyone to move closer to the forest. He continued, there will be more things to eat there, but I know it's a long trip and it will not be very easy. It might take days to get there. In this para, we learned Leo the king was thinking. And after thinking for some time, he said, there's nothing we can do because we don't know when it will rain. And when rain comes, all the plants will grow again and everybody will have food. But he also thought for a little longer. Then he said again, the only thing I can think of is for everyone to move to the forest, closer to the forest. And there will be more things to eat there. So Leo the king was saying the animals should go close to the forest because in the forest there is rain. And because of that, there are lots of foods, grass, fruits and trees all over it. That's why he wanted the animals to move there. He knows that it will be a long trip, but it will be easy for them to survive. And it's hard for them now without the food. Okay, here you can see they're talking. Now let's move to page eight. Ginger and Mickey looked at each other and then looked back at Leo. Thank you, Leo, said Ginger. It's probably best if they all try to get closer to the jungle. They said, G-O-O-D, good, B-Y-E, bye, goodbye, and then walked back across the savannah. Now they needed to gather all of the animals together to start the long journey. Ginger didn't need to go along because she had plenty of food in her high trees. But she was a good friend and wanted 
to help as much as she could. They walked towards her favorite trees. And guess what? She and Mickey saw. So in this para, we learned that Ginger and Mickey looked at each other and thanked Leo the King for his help. And probably it's the best for the animals for, to move on near the jungle. They said goodbye to Leo and moved forward to the savanna. Now all they have to do is gather all the animals together so that they all can start their journey to the forest. Let's go to the next page, page number nine. All of the animals there already gathered there and waiting for Ginger and Mickey. Why are you all here? asked Ginger. Eddie the eagle told us that you are taking us to the edge of the jungle, said one of the zebras. How did he know? asked Mickey. He heard you talking with Leo, said one of the antelopes. So you have all decided to try to walk together to the jungle? asked Ginger. Yes, they all answered. If you'll help us to get there, added one of the elephants. Of course, I'll help, said Ginger. I am your friend. In this para, we learned that while Ginger and Mickey were searching for the animals, they were already gathered in one place waiting for Ginger and Mickey. Seeing them all together, Ginger and Mickey were surprised and asked, Why are you all here? Then one of the zebras said, Eddie the eagle told them about their conversation with Leo the lion. He heard them talking with Leo about all the animals moving towards the forest. So Ginger asked them, did they already decide to move closer to the forest? All the animals said yes, but if Ginger could help all of them. Then Ginger happily agreed, of course, I will help you. And said, I'm your friend. Now, let's move on to next page. See how all the animals are gathered here? Page number 10. So, they started on their big journey across the savanna to the jungle. The sun was so hot and there was no food and no place to get a drink of water. And then they heard it. It was thunder. Thunder! They all shouted. Thunder was very scary to the animals of the savanna. Can you guess why? Fire! Sometimes the lightning hits the dry grass and the whole savanna catches fire. Then everyone has to run and that is Exactly what happened. Fire! They shouted. They could smell it. And now they could see it. The fire was coming towards them. In this para, we saw that they started their big journey from Savannah 
to the jungle. But the sun was very hot. It was so bright and shiny. And there was no food and water to drink. And at that moment, they heard thunder. And they all shouted because they were all scared. Because of fire. Because whenever there is thunder, because of the lightning, sometimes that lightning hits the dry grass. And the savanna catches fire. That is what was everyone scared of. And that exactly what happened at that point. There was fire everywhere. And the animals started shouting fire. And they could smell it. And they could also see it. The fire was coming towards them. Here, can you see? Lots of fire coming towards them. Now let's move on to page number 11. Ginger had to think fast because she was so tall she could see F-A-R for T-H-E-R -er, farther than any of the animals. She stretched her long neck up as far as she could. Now she could see a place where there was no fire. Quick, she said. Everyone, run this way. All of the animals followed her and ran as fast as they could. Soon, they were out of danger. They stopped and gathered together one more time. Is everyone here? Ginger asked. She wanted to make sure they were all safe. All the animals looked around. They were all there in this barrack. We learned that Ginger was the only animal who had long neck and long legs. Because of that, she could see further, which all the other animals could not see. So she quickly started thinking and then she could see a place where there was no fire. Then she alerted everyone, quick, let's run to that way. And soon they were out of danger. And they stopped there and gathered all together. And then Ginger started asking if everyone was here safe. Then all the animals looked around and saw everyone was here. As you can see, here is fire and there are all the animals in a safe place. Now let's read page number 12. And then the most W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L, wonderful thing happened. I felt a drop, said a zebra. Me too, said an antelope. It was rain, finally. Everyone was very happy. It started to rain a little more and then a little more. The rain put out the fire so they didn't have to run and the rain filled their watering holes and made the plants grow again so they didn't have to make that long trip to the edge of the jungle. Everyone would soon have enough food and water. So Ginger the giraffe went back to her favorite tree and continued to munch on the leaves and buds. So my dear students, in this last paragraph, we 
learned that while they were standing in that safe place, a zebra felt a drop. Then an antelope also felt a drop and they saw it was raining. Everyone was so happy that finally it was raining. The rain stopped the fire and they did not have to run and go to the edge of the jungle because it was raining and soon they will have enough food and water because the plants were growing again. After all this, Ginger the giraffe went back to her favorite tree and she continued to munch on the leaves and eating her leaves and buds. Now, I will tell you some questions. You have to answer those questions in the comment section below. These are the 12 questions you have to answer in the comment section below. First question is, who is the main character of the story? First question is, who is the main character of the story? Second question is, where does Ginger the giraffe live? Second question is, where does Ginger the giraffe live? Third question is, what kind of animals couldn't reach the food that Ginger could reach? Third question is, what kind of animals couldn't reach the food that Ginger could reach? Fourth question is, what did Ginger's friend Mickey the monkey want to tell her? Fourth question is, what did Ginger's friend Mickey the monkey want to tell her? Fifth question is, how did Ginger help Mickey when he was hungry? Fifth question is, how did Ginger help Mickey when he was hungry? Sixth question is, why were the other animals like zebras and antelopes worried? Sixth question is, why were the other animals like zebras and antelopes worried? Seventh question is, what idea did Ginger have to solve the food shortage problem? Seventh question is, what idea did Ginger have to solve the food shortage problem? Eighth question is, why did Ginger and Mickey decide to go see Leo the lion? Eighth question is, why did Ginger and Mickey decide to go see Leo the lion? Ninth question is, how did Leo the lion suggest dealing with the lack of food? Ninth question is, how did Leo the lion suggest dealing with the lack of food? Tenth question is, why did the animals decide to move closer to the jungle? Tenth question is, why did the animals decide to move closer to the jungle? Eleventh question is, how did the rain solve the animals' problems? Eleventh question is, how did the rain solve the animals' problems? Twelfth question is, what did Ginger do? Once everything was back to normal. Twelfth question is, what did Ginger do once everything was back to normal? You have to answer these twelve questions in the comment section below. Now I will tell you some hints of the answers. Here are some of the hints of the answers. Let me read them out to you. Ginger Mickey, Mickey fell down. There is enough food near the forest. Kenya, zebras and antelopes to move near the jungle. That it had not rained for a while because of the dry grass. Mickey elephant talk to leo the lion rain made the plant grow mickey was ginger's friend went back to her favorite tree and continued munching munching means eating munching means munching because of 
fire. Ginger nibbled some leaves and dropped them around Mickey. Ginger nibbled. Nibble means so Ginger nibbled some leaves and dropped them around Mickey. Ginger had tall legs and long neck. Ginger was very kind because he was the smartest animal. It's a long trip. Savannah. Savannah is a place in Kenya. And Kenya is a place in Africa. Okay, my dear students.